everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my favorites of 2021. Initially I thought that it would all be brand new stuff that I tried in 2021, but to be completely honest with myself first, there were a few products that I have had prior to 2021 that I didn't really think that highly of, like I liked. I didn't think that I loved but in 2021, it solidified my relationship with that item and now I'm just so head over heels in love with a few of these. So without any further ado, let's get started. I wanted to start off with two skincare items. I actually have 21 products, which just so happened, like best 21 of 21. That brings me back to so many years ago. Uh, I think I made a top 8 of 2008. That was a long time ago. Those were the days, my friends. <laughs> um, I have definitely been on this platform for a very long time. Not consistently, albeit, and I don't ever think I'll be consistent because I don't really consider this something I'm very serious about. I am passionate about making content and I love it, but I'm not seriously investing my time in it, which mm, is neither here or there, really. But anyway. That's a conversation for a different day with a more one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Not, not like this. <laughs> anyway, the first two products are skincare products. The first one is from Waleda and it's the Skin Food Light. I love, love, love this. I initially got the Skin Food Rich Intensive Skincare. That was really difficult for me to blend. It was definitely moisturizing, which is nice, but for, for me to get it to blend and feel like it blended evenly all over my face was definitely not very easy. This is moisturizing and nice and smells good and it blends really, really easily. I feel like I can definitely coat my skin with an even layer of this without having any issues whatsoever. I love, love, love it. Then. Yeah, this is the year that I ran out of my Balm.com from Glossier and Glossier doesn't ship internationally and I needed, needed, needed to find a good lip balm because my lips were at that point completely torn to pieces. They were struggling so hard and while I really wanted my lip balm to be vegan, I tried so many. But my lips without lanolin, they just, they don't heal. So I found this. This is the uh, Life Dry Fix. Mm, okay, so it's, it's, a, it's a local product. It's a lip balm for, it's an intensive lip balm that's, that specializes in intensely dry, chapped lips. It has, um... I have no idea what this is. In Hebrew, it says Orea, Lanolin, and Shea Butter. Uh, I love, love, love it. This saved my lips. I love using this. It's definitely thick and it definitely uh, gets hard when it's cold. Like, it's definitely something that reacts to the weather and its consistency kind of changes as the weather does uh, but it's so good i had the bite agave lip mask that thing is a bit of a crappy thing honestly I, it did nothing for my lips and i had so many other things but this is the only one that i attribute my healthy lips to it's insane i love it then let's talk about makeup i have 19 makeup products these are the first two. <laughs> We're talking about eyes first because I have so many eye products. These are the Kiko Milano Long Lasting Eyeshadow Stick 8 Hour No Transfer. I have, I think, 9 of these. I brought my favorite two shades. Actually, I could have brought a third one, which is number 55. It's like a coppery one and it's so gorgeous. But I bought the neutral ones. Actually, mm, wait, I'm gonna bring the copper one because you need to see it. I told you you needed to see it, it's beautiful. So I have my favorite three shades. I have the shade 5, which is actually what I have on my eyes, underneath something else I'm gonna tell you. 
It's like this gorgeous, like taupey purple, so stunning. Rosy, gorgeous shade. I also have the shade 06, which is a stunning brown. I mean, who doesn't love a brown eyeshadow, right? Everybody does. And I also have the shade 55, which is a ground, like an earth shatteringly stunning, beautiful copper, which is this. They're gorgeous and they they apply beautifully, they're really really easy, they last all day. As I said, these are beautiful, they last forever on my eyelids with the right base and sometimes when I top them with something they even last longer. They're gorgeous, they're beautiful, they look like the Evangelista, they're a model. Oh, they stoned those tights. They're that type of product. Okay. I don't even know that many of you got what I was saying or what I was referencing, but if you watch Drag Race, especially my favorite season, season 9, you would know. Okay, next is another eyeshadow crayon. I also have another one because I loved eyeshadow crayons this year. This is from a local brand, but I had to mention it. This is the Maluka IAI Shadow Stick in the shade 0404, and it's like this... Hmm. It's an interesting kind of shade because it's kind of like a taupey shade, but it's not a real taupe. It's like a rosier, taupey, golden -y shade. It's such a unique shade. I love it. I love these also like because they are the perfect, perfect, perfect uh, waterline uh, shadow. I have a bunch of eyeshadow crayons, but in my opinion, these last the longest in my waterline. I love them. Next is this one, which is another local product, but I had to mention it because I had to be honest about my absolute favorites. This is the Soft Touch Metallic Touch Lip and Eye Stick. On the lips, anything metallic is going to accentuate your lines. You're going to look like you have the most crinkly, wrinkly lips in the entire world. Not a flattering look. But on the eyes, that's a different story. The shade that I have is this kind of light copper. This is the shade 404 and it's so perfect. This is the one product that anytime I apply makeup on someone else, I always reach for this because the moment that you apply it on their eyes, you're like, what magic trickery did you do? How, how are you so gifted at this makeup thing? And it's just this simple product that can be used by anyone but it's really transformative it's gorgeous I love it next is one of the best makeup discoveries of the year and I'm talking about the Smashbox always on cream shadows I have four of them I picked two today because these are the best two in my opinion I love them I have the shade amber which is of the perfect neutral my lids but better kind of shade and I also love 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 the shade guava because actually the shade guava if you have a complexion that's similar to mine makes for the most beautiful blush the most perfect lip color and eyelid color obviously so if you love to work that monochromatic look then guava is your girl I love these so much they're so easy to use they blend very nicely they are very long lasting they make beautiful bases and beautiful, like, uh, one and done shadows. They're gorgeous. I love them. Uh, sticking with that same category, we have the cover, Color Fix from Denisa Myricks. I picked, uh, I have five of them at this point. I have two metallics, two foils, and one nude. I love this. This is the, this is the Color, Mix, Color Fix Metallics Nudes in number seven. Wow, incredible, like um, mustardy, warm mustardy kind of shade. Absolutely stunning. And it makes for a perfect base for a product that I'm going to talk about in just a bit. I also love, 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 love this one from the Foils range. It's in the shade Nebula. Absolute perfection. This is such a beautiful, like, a glitter to wear because it doesn't transfer, it doesn't fall off. It's such a beautiful formula and it's such a beautiful color. I love these so much. They're perfect. Speaking of that one product that you can layer over top of the uh, cover, color fix in 07, I was talking, of course, about the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal Top Coat in the shade Nude. This 
is how it looks. It has a warm hue to it, but it's not necessarily like a color. It's more of a reflex. It's more of a glitter top coat. But it's definitely something that works perfectly well for a shade that's like the um, the, the Vanessa Myricks one or even the Amber shade from Smashbox. What a beautiful, beautiful product. And especially beautiful when you really work at layering it a little bit. Mine, I don't know if it's supposed to feel that way because it hasn't changed since I bought it. It's always been in the same kind of texture. But mine is a bit dry to the feel. But when I layer it, it looks insane, insane on my eyelids. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, what I have over top of the Kiko Crayon is another Kiko eyeshadow, but this is the Kiko Long Lasting Wet and Dry Use eyeshadow in the shade 200. I have talked about this before. I adore, adore this color. If you use it with a wet brush, you get more of the color and less of the shine, but if you use it with a, with a dry brush, you get more of the shine and less of the pigment, so to say. What a beautiful formula, what a beautiful shade. I, I have three of them, but I have to say that my, my favorite is this. It's gorgeous. Now, I had to include an eyeshadow palette, but this year really wasn't the year of the eyeshadow palettes, to be honest. Although I did buy four Natasha Denona and, one, and two Rowan. So I did buy six eyeshadow palettes, but if I had to pick my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year is definitely this. It's the Natasha Nona Mini in the shade Glam. Mini Glam. I love it. And this is the best, 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 best transition shade if you are someone with yellow undertones. It's so beautiful. And the shimmers on both ends are insane. This one. This one is crazy beautiful. I'm not the person to wear browns like this, they're too dark, but the rest of the shadows are perfection, really perfect. And if you like to create like a liner with a powder eyeshadow, here you go. Such a beautiful palette, honestly, like, perfect palette. Great. Okay, moving on to cheeks. I definitely have quite a few cheek products, but definitely not as many as I had eyeshadow products. So let's talk about cheek things. I, the reason I didn't really talk about eyebrow products or mascaras is because there really weren't any discoveries this year, not even like for primers. If anything, it solidified my love for the Smashbox Always On Shadow Primer. The one that comes in a tube, in a silver tube, that was the best primer for years and still is. Okay, now let's talk about cheek products. Uh, the best, period, the best discovery of a cheek product this year has got to be the Vanessa Myricks Vision Flush in the shade Toasted Almond. Yes. I also had the shade Nutcracker. I loved that one, but I wanted to share the love, so I gave it away to a friend. And I hope that she's using it as much as I'm using mine, because I love mine. This is such a beautiful, warm-toned, brown blush. I love, 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 love using this and it's such an easy product to use with foundation, without foundation. It looks insanely gorgeous in any shape, anywhere on the eyes, face, like cheeks or the lips. It's such a good multi-use. However, if you are definitely using it on your eyes, you should definitely layer it over something like the Color Fix because only the Color Fix can make something like this last longer than just a few hours, in my opinion. And my experience. Okay, next is um, a product that has definitely grown the most on me in 2021, which is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine Blush. I bought this in December 2019, and when I first reviewed it, I definitely thought that it was a good product, that it was overpriced and probably redundant. However, I take back my words because although yes, I don't take back that it's overpriced, I do think that it's overpriced. For a baked blush, I think it's overpriced. However, this is one of the best, best, best blushes that I have in my entire collection. 
I absolutely adore reaching for it. This looks insane with the uh, Natasha Nona palette. This looks even more insane with the Vanessa Myricks uh, Color Fix Nudes. What a perfect color. So flattering. It definitely makes you look like a golden goddess, a bronzy goddess. Wow, incredible. I love this. And as I grew to love this blush, I also developed more of an appreciation for these two. This is the uh, Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Bronze. Satin bronze. It kind of definitely gives like the same effect, the same undertones, the same direction as the faded Clementine, but this is way less glowy and the color is slightly different. That being said, for the price difference, like this is maybe like five dollars at best, and that one is like 45, going on to 50 dollars. So for almost like a $40 difference, I mean, you'd be hard pressed to tell me that this is disappointing. You'd be, I don't think that the quality difference is a $40 quality difference or the effect difference. I don't even think that there's much of a value difference when it comes to both of these as a product because they give such a beautiful effect. Both of them are definitely not products that I want to part with because I love both of them. Another blush that gives me M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clementine vibes is this one from Pupa. And this is the Pupa Milano Extreme Blush Radiant in the shade 10. Yes. It's very much a faded clementine type of product for sure. Like this has definitely been one of the best colors that I've explored in the year of 2021 and I just love this color on my face. It's very very flattering. Today I'm not wearing it because I'm wearing like something very cooler, much cooler toned on my eyes than normal. So I'm wearing something else. But overall for the entire year this has definitely been one of my go-to blushes without a doubt. Even like the word radiant has worn significantly. I love it. It's gorgeous. Now, as my appreciation for these blushes grew, so did my appreciation for the Persona, uh, what is it called? Cali Glow Highlighter in the shade Zuma. This is the perfect highlighter to wear with something like the blushes that I showed you before because it just has the right undertone. It has the right warmth, the right golden vibe. They look exquisite together. This and any of the blushes that I showed earlier are perfect for each other. So my appreciation, my appreciation for this product has gone from like 8 to 10 really quickly. I love it. I've always known that this, that this was such a good blush, a highlighter, but wow. It has definitely grown on me so much in such a short period of time. Now, I'm going to show you this in action because I feel like you have to see it. Hold on. Okay, let's talk about the Kiko Unlimited, Unlimited Blush in the shade 12. This is how it looks. And I mean, I know that I'm wearing something glowy on my face, right? But can you see how quickly this transformed my cheeks? This is the only blush in my entire collection that I don't wear highlighter with because it's already really, really glowy. Look at that. Oh, it's such a beautiful blush. And I love the color. It's like this gorgeous, like soft nude blush. It's perfect for every day, perfect for nights out. It gives you this insane glowy effect. So if you don't like a glowy blush, absolutely don't even think about this. But if you are like me and you love a glowy blush, absolutely do it. It's gorgeous, beautiful, insane. 
Okay, well, my feet are completely numb and it's painful, but let's, let's power through this. Okay, this product, you re I really don't have to talk much about it because look at this fan. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. Yes, it really doesn't have much on the back. So the fact that I know what this product is called by heart definitely goes to show how much I love it. This was my uh, project pan, my pro fake selective project pan, so to say, because I really didn't stick to a lot of the products that I had set my mind uh, to using. But this was definitely something that I ended up continuing to use exclusively because I was so obsessed with it. I love this bronzer. It's such an easy bronzer to use. The undertone is correct. The color is perfect. I have nothing negative to say about this. And I think it's like $6. It's crazy. The price is insane. Because this performs as good as it as any bronzer can. It's such a good bronzer. So, so good. Good and beautiful. I was gonna say good, and then I was also gonna say beautiful, so it ended up being book or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, next is the um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood's Hollywood. I have no idea. Like, whatever was supposed to be here is completely off. Which goes to say that the packaging here isn't, re isn't reflective of the price or the quality because, to be completely honest, this underneath your makeup in targeted areas is absolutely beautiful. It makes your makeup look believable. It makes it look like you're glowing from within as opposed to, hey, look at my highlighter, it's showing up from space or like it, people from space can see it, whatever. Like. It is a very believable glow and a glow that doesn't enhance texture, doesn't enhance anything that you don't want to be enhanced per se. So overall, what a beautiful product. I don't, I don't apply it at all near my expression lines or my frown lines because it settles into lines. So if you are worried about it accentuating lines, you have reason, you have a good, you're worried for a good reason, let's say it that way. And all you should do is just avoid applying it in those areas and you're just going to be fine. So this overall is beautiful. Finally, we're going to talk about, well, lip products. I was going to say blushes, but hey, we talked about blushes. Okay, so for lip products, let's start off with the product that I grew an, a new appreciation for this year because, again, of the same blush tones that I was reaching for endlessly. And I'm talking about the Persona Gloss in the shade Toffee, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me tell you, this is my favorite gloss in my entire collection. It almost kind of gives me slight uh, Fenty Glow vibes, but I honestly prefer this. I don't know why I prefer this, because they're quite similar, but I, I think that this looks better on my skin, this looks better on me overall and I love the tiny little sparkles in it. I feel like the, sh the Fenty one barely has any sparkles to begin with and I love a sparkly lip gloss so this to me takes the win. I love it and I absolutely have grown super fond of it over the last year. I love it. Although I bought it like in maybe April, May 2019 or 2020, sorry. But I fell in love with it in 2021. I truly fell in love with it in 2021. Okay, uh, a lip oil, which is a trend that was very, very popular and you couldn't escape it in 2021, was the lip oil trend. I chose the Merit lip oil in the shade Miracatch. Let me tell you, like out of all of the lip oils that I could have purchased, I'm so glad that I ended up with this because this is, first of all, an exquisite color on me. I love, 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 love it. And also it feels nourishing, it looks nice, and I love reapplying it because the packaging, I mean, I really haven't spoken about packaging at all throughout the entire video because it really doesn't matter that much to me, but I love the aesthetic of this little 
tube or bottle or whatever you want to call it. I love it. <laughs> and I love reapplying it and I love like having it in my bag and pulling it out. It's an experience and it's a beautiful product for sure. Now, my favorite discovery of the year for lip products and the one that I loved so much that I bought three of is actually from Kiko and they're the Kiko Tinted. My camera is rude and it interrupted me again, Jesus Christ. But these are called the Kiko Colored Balms and I have three of them. I have what's on my lips right now which is called Blackberry. I'm gonna reapply because first of all I love these and second of all I've been talking a lot so a reapply is probably needed. Look at that! First of all they have such a beautiful sheen this color is stunning and they feel amazing on the lips. To be honest, they don't have lanolin, so they're not really moisturizing, in my opinion. However, as long as I'm wearing them, I feel like my lips are just fine. They're not moisturized, but they're not dried up or chapped or suffering and they feel like they're suffocating and whatnot. Absolute, not that this is how they feel when I'm wearing the other products, but these definitely feel like a balm on my lips. The other products definitely feel like a lip product on my lips, like a colored lip product, like a cosmetics, makeup y type product. These ones definitely give me the makeup y feel, I was gonna say vibe and feel, so it ended up being file. They give me the makeup vibe and the makeup feel, but uh, they feel extremely comfortable on the lips, more so than other regular makeup products. So that's the shade Dress Bear. I'm not gonna swatch the rest, but I also have the shade Almond, which is a very my lips, but better barely there uh, sort of shade. Looks like this. And I'm gonna say this, they are, they smell exactly as they're called. So this one smells like almond milk almost. This one smells like berries and this is called raspberry which is yes it definitely has the sour taste of or, or like smell of um, raspberries and it's like this red toned uh, one. It's so pretty on the lips. They give a whisper a hint of a color and they absolutely flatter Everyone, every complexion, everyone, I love them. So yeah, I just talked about 21 products that I fell in love with in 2021. A few of which were old discoveries or old products in my collection that I developed a whole new appreciation for, but most of which were unfortunately new, which goes to show that I bought a ton of makeup. There are definitely a bunch of other products that I loved, but I needed to condense the video, I'm just gonna give one honorable mention. Actually, let me give you two honorable mentions, hold on. First honorable mention is Salt New York overall. Everything, I have the contour, the blush, the highlighter, the bronzer, everything. I love everything, I do. <laughs> and uh, the Merit like cream blushes. I don't, I don't know, they're cheek color, they're just cream blushes, they're beautiful. If I could, I would also have to say the Nabla uh, skin glazing products, not the skin bronzing because that bronzer is trash, but the skin glazing are gorgeous, I love them. Uh, what else can I just like come up with on the fly right now? Also, I'm gonna have to admit that the Glam palette from Natasha Nona is beautiful. That one is gorgeous. And the Just Skin, the True Skin from Catrice, the foundation is gorgeous. I'm gonna shout out a few blushes, a few brushes, excuse me. First off is the Re Techniques setting brush, gorgeous for highlight. 
then the Kiko Milano O2, the brushes are perfect for um, cream shadows. Also, the 66 from Kiko Milano are perfect for highlighter. And the Real Techniques, um, I think I, I, th I think this is old. I think it's called like the Expert Face Brush. This is beautiful for cheap products as well as foundation. But the final product is this. This is the Kiko Milano 04. While the quality is definitely questionable because this came in two pieces. The handle and this part right here, the brush part. I just, you know, sellotaped the whole thing. But this is a beautiful bronzer brush, blush brush, even powder brush. I wouldn't use this for foundation because in my experience, uh, dual fiber brushes are not my favorite foundation brushes. But hey, you can definitely use it for that way. So, I think that that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I would love to know some of your favorite products for the past year. Um, and now that my video is over, I, th I think I can, first of all, thank you for being with me in 2021. If you are a subscriber of mine, and welcome you to a whole new year of content, hopefully, and maybe like, a year that I can actually stick to my goals as opposed to thinking that my goals are meaningless because the world is going through issues that are bigger than mine. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like and comment and I'll see you soon.